Are you one of those people that have tried starter fertilizer and didn't see much of a result? There's a couple different reasons why that sometimes happens. One of those reasons is not all starter fertilizers are created equal. As you can see in this, these pictures, the dark colors are contaminants. Some of those fertilizer companies actually use a spent acid as some of their raw materials. What is a spent acid? A spent acid is actually hazardous waste. So companies pay to dispose of that. And some of those pay fertilizer companies to get rid of that stuff. Because what is the solution to pollution? Dilution. So they put that stuff in your starter fertilizer with the thought in mind that you're going to spread that over a lot of acres and dilute that process down. Maybe that's not the best choice. So let's look at a good high quality food grade one. Good high quality food grade starter fertilizer that's not going to have any cadmium, not going to have any arsenic or lead or mercury in it. If you had a glass of water in front of you that had arsenic in it at five parts per million, would you offer that water to your kids? Not a chance. Okay, so let's not be putting that in our crops because if we put that in our corn, then we feed that corn to our cattle and then we eat our cattle. There's a bioaccumulation that has goes through that process. And the studies have shown that there's actually liver problems with people that have consumed that. So let's not go down that road in the first place because once you put cadmium in your soil, there is not a tillage tool. There is not a chemical to remove those things. Okay, so let's not do that. The other thing is maybe you didn't see much results from a starter fertilizer because maybe you were using the incorrect analysis. We need to go off of a soil test. I travel all over the United States and talk with all kinds of guys. And I ask them why they're using the starter fertilizer. What analysis are they using? When I ask them what analysis they're using, I get two common answers. And the two most common answers are 7217 and 6246. Turn right around and I ask them, why are you using that particular analysis? And my two most common answers from that response are, is the first one is, that's all that my retailer carries. And the second response is that they don't know why they use that analysis. So to me, that's a little sad, a little concerning. So I'm going to recommend that you do a soil test. And you let the soil test tell you, based off of your soil levels, based off of your crop and your yield goal, what analysis you need and actually what rate you need also. But it's not just about the N, P, and K. There are other things that go into that. And if you want to learn more about this stuff, you can come to our two-day fundamentals of agronomy. Drop the word conference down below. One of our team members will reach out to you, and we'll get you set up.